is our Founders Day of Caring. Next star, our parent company. Our station mates are all out participating in our company-wide day of service across the country and volunteering at the food bank to donate blood as well. Glenn Mills is now over at the blood donation station at our station at ABC4. Checking on him now and you know we've all given blood and now you, Glenn, cannot procrastinate anymore. Oh, I tried to put it off all day long, Saray, but here we are ready to go. I'm with uh, Sam Hughes with the Red Cross. She's pre uh, preparing everything for my donation here. Sam, first off, talk a little bit about why it's so crucial to donate blood, especially this time of year. So this time of year, the demand goes up because everyone's out playing. They're riding their boats, four-wheeling, all the fun stuff. And the demand goes up, but unfortunately our supplies go down because we just can't keep them on the shelf. So this is an opportunity to really give back to people in a dire situation here in our community. Yes, because okay. on top of everyone playing, you also have all the people who have all the medical things that they need blood on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. no matter what. Okay. And if we're using it all on all these other things and we're not getting enough in. So it can be a little scary for someone maybe considering this, but what should you do to prepare for this situation in, in donating? What Hyd are some things you can do? Hydrate. Um, so I will always encourage people that they say, you know, hey, I want to come donate. Increase your fluids, mm -hmm. not just sodas, but water, juice, things like that, by about eight ounces mm -hmm. for at least three days prior. Because if you're just taking in an extra so much the day of, your body's kicking it out as quick as you're taking it in. Got it. So, so I, I should have prior. had this conversation with you <laughs> three days ago then, right? Possibly, yeah. <laughs> okay, so how, how are we looking here? Do I have a, a good vein ready to go? Everything's looking great. I'm just going to slide this up. Okay. And I just need to know, are you allergic to chlorhexidine or medical tape? I am not. Okay. Nope. I think we're good to go. So how's the day been going here? It's been good. We, uh, last time I looked, we had already hit over goal. So, um, I actually had to send out for more supplies. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> so, a good problem to have, though, right? It is. It's a fantastic mm -hmm. one, and I don't mind having it. Okay. So. All right. What, uh, what should I know as I'm starting to go through this process? I'm obviously going to lose some blood. Uh, as far as afterward, are there some steps I'm going to want to take as well? Yeah. So, you don't want to do any exercising um, or, you know, anything that's going to raise your heart rate up mm -hmm. for at least the rest of today. Okay. Good just, to know. Just because we don't want you to suddenly pass out. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping I don't do that <laughs> just by donating the blood. I've never had any trouble with it, but it's been a while and I'm kind of old now, so. Um, and then also you don't want to um, skip any meals or snacks mm -hmm. and you want to take in extra fluid. Um, like I said, an additional eight ounces above what you normally would okay. for the next two to three days. Just so your body, just so your body can, uh, sorry, my scale didn't want to read. No problem. Um, just so your body can replenish what we do take. Okay. And you guys made it really easy for me today. I filled out the questionnaire online. I came in, just yes. handed you a barcode. You scanned it. And we were ready to go take care of this piece of cake. Yeah. So we do have the Rapid Pass. It's at redcross.org backslash Rapid Pass. And it's all the pre-reading that we normally have you do when you get here as well as um, all the questions okay. that we have you do. So anyone interested in doing this, what's your best advice for them? How can they find an opportunity to do such? So go to redcross.org and it, there's a little button on there. You can click for um, find a blood drive near mm -hmm. me, type in your zip code, and uh, it'll pull up any and all blood drives in an area okay. that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you the address, the location, Times, everything. All right, fantastic. We made it right, very easy to just do it here at work. Unfortunately, we're out of time, so we're going to head to break before I get stuck with this needle and donate my blood. We'll be right back.